Okay, guys, so this is what um, the uh, starter kit is going to look like. Um, we are going to add a bit of branding um, and final finishing touches to this box. Um, but you will get one of our decal postcards because decals are included in there. Um, and then it includes um, some instructions. Um, and then a little thank you with um, a discount code. So I won't show you guys that. Although I think I already did. <laughs> um, a couple of freebie stickers. Um, I, I order a lot from the job bottle. Um, and I don't know what to do with these. So I thought maybe one of you guys would really appreciate them. Now I'm going to show you guys these things last. Because I actually added extra freebies into this box. Um, so I will show you guys those at the end um they're not part of the description that it states but i did include a couple more extra freebies okay so it includes um this pack of six gels um we also include some nail tips this one comes in medium coffin we also include a pack of foils this one, I'm just going to put it in here, but I do need to go downstairs and get some new ones, but it does include one of the packs, so I'm just going to put it in there for, for show purposes. <laughs> it includes a mini LED lamp, um, four to five um, different um, nail decals. It also includes two of these nail stands. I'll show you guys here. These are the nail stands that I personally use, and they do have a sticky tape, so you guys will see that. Um, I will show you guys how to use that and put it on your stands. That's a tip I learned from Queen Custom Claws, so thank you so much to her. Two sets of rings, a top coat and a base coat, a buffer. Two prep kits. This little, um, this is the tape I was uh, talking to you guys about, about, so I will show you guys how to use this tape on your little nail stands. It also includes three packs of stickers, which I will show you guys more in detail once I get all this back out. A little wax pen to pick up all of your little nail goodies. Um, this one is like a, like, a. Uh, it's not a cuticle pusher because this is more so like um, rubber. Um, so it's more so to um, just rub at your foils so that they stick really, really well. And this is a little pack of a whole bunch of Chanel stickers. Then underneath there, we have some nail tabs, which are these. So you're able to put on your finished nail sets. Um, so that's what it comes in here. There we go. Then we have a little... Um, a little goodie bag of nail decoration so we have some neon blue flower um butterflies not flowers um some little stars a nail glue and then here we have um just some moons and different assortments here i also um included these just as extras and of course our Our postcards now these oh and a foil gel so we're either going to include a foil gel or a blooming gel just depends this one we included a foil gel I'll put it here in the corner and then these are all extras that I decided to add to this um, to the starter kit they don't necessarily um, come advertised as part of the kit but I did want to include them just as freebies so that you can this one is a little container so you can put um, input all of your little decorations and you can have them all in one space if you wanted to. Then I included a little dry flower slash leaf container. I included these, added extra, they're like little zippers. So I'm adding those. I included a little tweezer here. That comes in handy. <laughs> And this one's more so like a picture frame like this. And the reason I included this is because sometimes I've seen where like they put their displays up like this. So I thought it would be pretty cool to include that for you guys. So everything's going to be very, very secure. And that is it. So the, the little postcard goes on top. 
And that is everything that gets included into your starter kit. So now we're going to move on to the part where I show you guys how to use some of the goodies that are inside here so that you can create this amazing simple nail set if you're a starter. Um, if you're, you're a beginner, so if you want to see that portion of this video and just see what I come up with, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys what I am going to use um, for my design. So obviously this is a pack that I already have for one of you guys that purchases it. So I'm going to show you guys that I already have the same exact materials and that's the only thing I'm going to use. So I have an opened lamp over here um, and I will take it out when I am closer down so you guys can see it. Um, and let me just show you guys what I think I'm going to pick out. So I have um, an idea of what I what I want. Um, so I am definitely going to be using the buffer, but like I said, this is new, um, a new box. So I'm going to be using mine, which is over here. Um, I'm going to be using these nail stands, of course, but I have some prepped ones. I am just going to show you guys how to use the tape and a little stand so that you can uh, make sure that the nails stick to it. So I will be showing you guys, but I will be using one of my older ones and this is the same tape that is included, so I'll be using this. Um, what else do we have here? I will be using some nail tabs to show you guys how the design looks um, once I have finished and once you put it on the nails. Um, what else is in here? So, I am going to be using a foil gel, so I am going to be using foils. So, I will use, again my foil gel that I have over here. So this is mine. So I'll be putting that to the side. Um, I don't think I'll be using any of these. I don't, I don't think. Um, okay, let's see what else I'll be using. I will definitely be using these Chanel ones, um, which again, I have some, I'll definitely be using, um, I believe I'll be needing my little wax um, pen. A little pusher but again I have separate ones like identical ones so I will be pulling those out um, I will be using foils um, so I will be taking out my own personal foils and I think I'm going to be doing a cheetah print um, so I will be doing that I will also be using um, the rings when I take a photo but of course they'll be my rings so I will pull those out um, I don't think I'll be using decals maybe I'll show you guys depending on how long this video is two sets of designs and one will be with decals so we'll just see how long this video is and of course i will be using my own tips um i am going to be using the same ones which are medium pocket um so let me pull those out here is a my medium coffin i will be showing you guys on a blank tip how to prepare these because if you um, I will show you guys side by side. These are not prepped. And if you're a beginner, please, please, please prep your nails or else your gel will just peel off. So that's one of the tips I am going to be giving you guys and showing you guys how to prepare your nails with the buffer that is included in your kit. Um, so, of course, I believe that that is it. So let me put these things away. And I am also going to be using this same brand of um, the same brand of top coat and base coat as well as the same brand of um, gel polish. So I'm actually gonna be replacing this with a new one. So I will take this out and choose one of the colors that is inside here. And then I shall replace this for this customer. So let me just put all this away and I will be right back. Okay, so first off, um, I am going to show you guys um, how to use this double-sided tape to adhere your nails to so okay so these already have it so what I'm gonna do is take it off yeah. that's how you know they stick on really really well <laughs> okay there's a second part here There we go. So it's right here. All right. The only thing 
that you won't have in this little kit is a little scissors, so make sure to grab some of those. Okay. You want a little bit of a longer piece, and then what you're going to do, start here, and then kind of twist it around, and go back up. Actually, I think I did in the wrong place. So, ooh, okay, okay. Start on the opposite side, yeah. And then twist it around and come back up. There we go. So I actually grabbed a bigger piece than what I actually needed, but that's okay. I'll just secure it a little bit more. And now this has um, this red section you're able to take off. So it can be a little tricky at first, but there we go. And then you just unwrap it like so. Now I'm just going to, since I have extra, since I made it too long, I'm just going to wrap it around just to kind of secure the edges a bit more because that's where it will lift from. Now, as you can see, it is extremely sticky. So, next up is, I'm gonna show you how to prepare your nails, and I'll show you the difference between a nail that is prepared and a nail that isn't. Okay, so I will set them side by side so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so here you can see a prepared nail, which is a little bit more dull, and a nail that is not prepared, that is just fresh out of the little baggie. You see it's more shiny, and it, when touching it, this one's a bit more rough, and this one's just slick, you know, just nothing on it. Um, so, you don't want to place gel right on top of this one that's not prepared because the gel would just peel off. It doesn't really have anything to adhere to. Whereas this one, it'll just kind of sink into the crevices and it'll appear. You also don't want to do anything without a base coat, so remember to use a base coat. But I will show you guys. It's a simple step from getting from the unprepared to prepared. So you're going to take your buffer. And these buffers are not very strong. It's not like these that are super, super like rough. And um, it, it'll leave your nail extremely like raggedy and pieces will be all over the place. So you do not want this, which is why I wanted to include one of the buffers that I personally use in this kit. Um, so you guys didn't have that problem. Make sure you're using, there's three sides that have um, the file and one that isn't. So make sure you're using the side with the file. And you're just going to lightly buff out and get all of the shine out. So see here, I'm still missing this little section and maybe like this tip. So make sure you're grabbing all the sections. Now, if you have a file, there's always going to, most of the time there's gonna be a little like, um, a little piece that comes out right here, right by the number. Um, if you have a file, you can do this with the file. If you don't, if you're really truly a beginner and all you have is what's in this box, then you can grab your buffer and lightly just go at the edge right here. And I can show you here, this one, you can see it a bit more right there, that little point, and you'll see right now it'll come right off. I prefer a file for this, but like I said, if all you have is what's in the kit, there we go, you can easily use it as well. Now, in this step, you either want to just buff out the excess or just like the little dust that comes off. Okay. Next up, I am going to grab, this is a top coat, this is a base coat. So when you're a beginner, make sure that you are using a base coat because you do not want to just apply gel on this. It will definitely also peel. Um, so make sure you are doing that really quickly. 
um, let me just show you guys if you're at home and you're doing a if you're doing a sample set and you don't know what sizes to grab right yours is gonna come in a little baggie but they will have numbers so it's the same concept mine are just in a box but it's the same like numbering system right here um, so you will grab each one of these and you will figure out which one's your size so for example here you can see that if I put it on one side I have so much excess right there can you guys see so this one's obviously not going to be my number now I know from experience that I can sometimes fit a one but as you can see right here it's gonna be harder to see there's still this piece right there you could see it and if all I had was a one or like I was in between, a two was too small, then I could just file off that piece. However, I know that a two fits me pretty good. And now with the, um, with the medium coffin, you do see that it's really tapered at the side. So sometimes you will have to like cut your natural nail right here. If you mind it, then just go ahead and cut it. Or if you do want to get that coverage, um, you might want to opt for a um, bigger size and then just file off this excess. I personally don't mind it, so I will be using a two. So just go along here and just try them out for dif your different nails. I know I am a five here, so as you can see, it fits there. And from side to side, I can also sometimes get away with the six here. So I'm actually going to pick out a six right now. And usually what fits better is this bottom section. But like I said, you can always file it a little bit. So I'm going to choose a six. And this one, I'm going to choose a four. I kind of know my sizes, but like I said, just make sure that's from side wall to side wall if it's you really good. Um, I'm going to continue this to find all of my sizes right here and i already know that i am a nine it's right here um i am going to do only five nails because it's just a sample set but of course if you're doing a set that you are about to sell and you want to get a box picture or a client's um set then you will make sure you have both your little stamps and set those up okay um so i'm actually gonna this is a three so I'm going to put it away here. Okay. So I am also going to set up. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and put the um, nails on this little nail stand. Now, like I've been saying, make, make sure to use the base coat that's the next step however i just took out this little lamp i normally use my um the gel bottle lamp which i absolutely love but for the purposes of using everything that comes in the box i am going to be using the same lamp like the mini lamp that comes in the box and right here it's a little bit hard so let me just So this is the um, lamp that I normally use, which is from the gel bottle. It is definitely discontinued, but I, I am on the hunt for one of these. If someone is selling one of these, please let me know. I absolutely love this lamp. It is so, so spacious and perfect for press-on nails. However, like I said, they discontinued it. Okay, so as you can see, this lamp is definitely going to be much smaller. Um, so it wouldn't be able to fit um, the whole little nail stand, but that's okay. You can either like take one out. Okay, 
you can do it one by one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it. I love this because it is magnetic. So you are able to take them one by one. And I believe, there we go. And right now we're gonna see, I believe that it's 30 seconds. Yeah, so it is a 30 seconds. Okay. So here it is. Yeah, this is fine. So I am just going to put it one by one and then I will come back. Obviously, um, it is a little bit more tedious than um, having a bigger lamp like the gel bottle one. But if you're just starting off, this is perfect. Um, you're not doing that many sets per day. So if this is um, your starter kit, this is perfect for you and you can definitely work with it. Okay, guys. So this comes, this pack that comes in the box comes with six gels. I chose this one which is like a really like a nude like brown in between brown and gray it's a little bit more brown than it's showing up on camera so this is the one that i'm going to be using um i'm going to be using foils so i think that these two this leopard print foil plus this gel is going to look very good combined i could be wrong but <laughs> we shall see if not i might use this there was some burnt oranges in there so I might do that. Um, but for now, I have chosen this one. So what I'm going to do is paint all of these this color. And I shall come back and show you guys what that looks like. So this is how the first coat looks of this color. I am going to put on a second coat. Um, obviously put in the lamp first, put the second coat, and I will come back and show you guys what that looks like. Next up, I'm gonna be using gel elixir since I am going to be using foils. This is a foil gel. It is a very good foil gel. You just wanna use a very light coat and I would recommend putting in the lamp for 60 seconds or more um, just so that you can get a really, really good adhesion of the foils. Again, I'm gonna be using this foil right here, um, but I will put on uh, this foil gel and then I will be back. So what I did decide to do is um, do one full nail uh, um, with the foil gel and one half nail. This is a very simple technique. You guys saw me just use the same brush that comes in the foil gel and then you're able to create just like half. I could have gone up and down like this and put only half of the nail. I decided to do the first half, um, but it's a way that you can mix up and elevate your designs without doing too, too much or knowing too many techniques. Since it's just these two nails, I'm only gonna take these two out of here and put them in the lamp. Now, like I said, I recommend 60 seconds, so put that in twice, okay? Okay guys, so all I did was cut two pieces using these little scissors of the foil, this one right here. Um, and I will show you guys, I also sectioned off part of one of the nails. So this is a technique that if you're an absolute beginner, it will be so easy to create these stunning designs just by having some, um, just some foil gels. So, you won't be able to tell too much. Okay, you can tell a little bit. I, with the same, you guys saw, with the same brush that comes in the foil gel, I just created a line halfway through. And what that's going to do is that I'm going to be able to just adhere the foil to this top half. Now, for this one, I um, put the foil gel on the full nail, and you guys will see the effect that it gives.
Okay, so this is what we're left with. Oh, no, I'm sure. Okay, so this is what we're left, left with for the full cover tip here. And it really helps to have a color that's very similar to the backing of this. This one, there's slight color and then part of it is see-through, so it doesn't really matter much. I could have gone with a completely different color in the bottom and it would have been able to peek through. So here is that other half right here. Um, so this is what our set is looking like right now. I only really needed to use just one piece, so I'm going to put this one away. Okay, next up in this box, let me pull it up again. I included this little like nail decoration kit. So I'm actually going to use that. As well as, let me just open it up here. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that one. So let me pull that out. And I am also going to use um, some Chanel. So in that pack, there is some Chanel stickers. But of course, I also have some, so I'm just going to take out the one that I have so that I don't waste theirs. Okay, so there's this really pretty like rope one that I'm almost thinking will look super cute just all around here. I'm trying to decide if I want the Chanel logo one or if I want this one that looks more beaded. I think the Chanel one looks good. So we're gonna take that out. Here are some other ones. This one has a bit more black, but I feel like it's too busy. So I don't think I'm gonna use that one. There's a flower one. If this was a different foil, I might consider using that one. Um, ooh. There's this one right here. Um, uh, that's like almost like an inklet. Ooh, that one will look like nice too. This is really hard, you guys. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, ooh, there's this rope one. Hmm, that one would possibly look nice. Just trying to decide which one to use okay so there's this different another stat inklet style here but it has more of a black so I thought maybe uh, this is really hard okay let me ask hubby I think he's coming back so he can help me out of course I can help <laughs> okay help. so Super simple design for the people who are using the starter kit, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what I have so far. And at first I was just thinking just Chanel. But this these sticker packs have like different ropes and stuff. So that's option one. Okay. okay. Then this like inklet type one is option two. Uh, okay. And then just this full on like Chanel rope is option three. Chanel. Uh, no, I don't like that one. I think the very first one looks the best. This like rope one? Gold rope? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the one we're gonna go with. Thanks. Okay, so you may or may not have these tweezers in your uh, box if you are looking at this and you bought the box. Um, sometimes I will include them as freebies. They aren't part of the box, but hopefully if you bought it and if you're watching, um, you hopefully have it in your box. So I'm just going to measure out here and I am going to cut a little bit more than what I need just to be able to move it around. And I'd rather have more than not have enough. So I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab my nail. 
Okay, I think I am going to use some of these. I may also use some Chanel. Ooh, yes. So I think I'm going to add a Chanel one right here. The middle. Okay. In your little box, you are going to have a little wax pen that looks like this. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these smaller ones, and I think it'll look really nice right here. Okay. So I think that this one's way too small. So I'm going to grab over here. There's some medium sized ones that I believe will look really nice. I'm not sure if this one's too big. So I grabbed it and as you can see, you can very easily pick it up. What I like to do since I don't have nothing to adhere it to right here, I'm just going to place it and see how I like it. If it's too big, if it's too small, what do I think? Um, so I believe that that one's too big. So I'm going to go one over right here. And I'm going to grab this one, which is a lot smaller. And then you can use the other side just to kind of move things around a little bit. I think that one looks a very nice. And of course, I haven't adhered it yet, so... I will have to do that. Thank you. Okay. So with the glue that you get in this kit, so you get a little glue here. I definitely would recommend something else. Like I like using um, a very thick uh, builder gel so that I can adhere things and to be able to really encapsulate any stickers that I use but if you are just strictly using what is in this box as a beginner then you can definitely use some of this glue to adhere these little beads um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now just to show you guys that you can do it um, however I'm going to use this plastic one because if I just were to squeeze it here, it would go all over the place. So what I'm going to try to do is squeeze a bit here and then grab just like a dot of it with. I'm going to see if I have a daughter, dot, daughter or something. Maybe I'll use the back of this. I'll see right now. Okay, guys, so something that I lo love, love, love doing is just getting a feel for how the design is going to look without any um, glue. Just in case I don't like it, I can easily take it off. So I just put these on right here, and all it has is an inhibition layer, um, which is perfect because, like I said, I can take this off if I didn't feel like it um, was a good enough design. I believe that this is how I'm going to leave it. So all that is left to do is put the glue on there so I can adhere these and then put the top coat. So the top coat that we're going to use is the one that is in the kit. It is a no wipe top coat. So this is perfect because you won't be you won't have to use anything else to wipe off the inhibition later, layer because there won't be in any layer to wipe off. <laughs> Um, so I am going to put a, put a little bit of a video showing you guys a little bit of the process to putting these so that the glue doesn't go everywhere. And then um, you guys will see me put the top coat and then we will be done. I'll be putting these nails on with these nail tabs so you guys can see how they look.
Okay, so I am going to just put the top coat, oops, <laughs> right here, top coat, no white top coat. Um, I am going to put it over these little gold implements only because um, they are not Swarovski's, they're not something that needs its shine, and you just want to protect it a bit more, so I don't mind putting it over, so that is what I'm going to do. So this is what this simple set ended up looking like using all of the supplies that come in the starter kit. So I hope you guys like this video. The only thing left is I'm going to put these tabs on and show you guys what this set looks on my hands plus some rings. So let's go. here it is you guys um this is more of a cool tone brown i definitely um for my skin tone would like to go more with a warm tone um but it still looks very nice and for anyone that's fair skin um this color would look amazing um but i was just trying to go with what we had available in that box you guys could get an idea of what you can create and how you can create something super simple with a little bit of technique and all the supplies needed so that box is perfect because you do not have to go in the internet and try to see what it is you need for get stuff or if you're truly truly a beginner you just wouldn't even know where to start but i hope that you guys saw what you can create i hope you guys liked this simple simple look and yeah this is what it looks like Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, everything that is inside our starter kits and how to use it, how to make a very simple design. Um, if you guys are interested in this starter kit, then you guys are welcome to check out the link down below. Um, and these are up on the website, they're for sale, so if you're interested, definitely check that out. Um, I also kind of touch on our mystery boxes in this video, so if you are already a nail tech and just would like you know a mystery box of a very fun very cool nail designs that definitely those would those would be linked down below as well so like always you guys please subscribe to our youtube channel please like this video and comment down below um if you will be getting one of these boxes if you like this idea if you like the design that i made in this um in this video uh so please leave us a comment and um stay tuned for our next video Bye guys.